Now, we're going to do an exercise of imagining an ideal day at some time in the future. You'll be able to imagine that you're quite well, and you can set the time to suit yourself, perhaps, let's say, about three years in the future. After a brief relaxation, I'll walk you through some of the features of that day and ask you to imagine them in your own way. You'll probably find that uh, you have a, a resident critic that wants to tell you this is not possible, but just ask them to be quiet for a while and there are no limits to what you can imagine. It would help also if you had pencil and paper ready to make a few notes when you finish the exercise. Let's begin with the relaxation. To start the relaxation, bring your mind to the top of your head. And just notice what you feel there and around the forehead and the temples region. Notice how it feels. Any irritation, any tightness is a sign of tension. Begin to let it go. Breathe it out. Let it ease, disappear, soften, whatever makes sense to you. Continue on around the eyes. Notice any tightness around the eyes. They often feel like there are little tight rings around them, that those rings expand and disappear. Let the eyes, so to speak, sink back into the head. You can have your eyelids closed if you like. Watch the breathing. Notice the breath coming in through the nose, into the head, down the windpipe, into the lungs and out again. With the eyes closed now, continue to travel down the face, down the cheeks, down around the lips into the lower jaw. Let the jaw drop a little and move it from side to side to allow any tension in those big jaw muscles to ease and perhaps disappear. Let the tongue relax so that the whole face becomes a little more relaxed, a little easier, more comfortable. Take your mind to the back of the head Travel down the back of the head to where the neck joins the head and focus on that point for a moment. Just move the head slightly if it helps, back and forth, easing any tension in that area as you begin to travel now down the neck. Go down the neck, at the back and the front. Slowly Imagining streams of energy going down the neck or streams of relaxation. Imagining any knots in the neck muscles untying. Let this relaxation flow across the shoulders. The point where the neck joins the shoulders is also an important one. Spend a moment there. Move slightly if you need to. Think of letting go. Letting relaxation happen. Allowing it. Moving across the shoulders now, across the upper back. There are layers of muscle there. Think of the relaxation penetrating into them. Letting the shoulder joints ease. Allowing this flow of relaxation down the upper arms. The muscles of the upper arms relax. Through the elbows into the forearms. Let the forearms begin to feel heavy as they rest there on your thighs. If you can encourage a feeling of warmness as well as heaviness, so much the better. The relaxation continues to flow through the wrists, into the hands, into the thumbs, into the fingers one by one. So that the arms and hands, the upper part of the back, Neck and head and face beginning to relax now. And that process will continue as you move down the back, towards the middle of the back and around the rib cage, increasing the relaxation, increasing its spread down the body. You may find that the breathing gets easier as you imagine your rib cage expanding and contracting easily. Just enjoy that. Travel to the lower back now. It often holds a lot of tension. 
moving down the lower back, down to the buttocks, sitting on your chair, well supported, so that you have nothing to do except move with your mind through the body, noticing any tightness, allowing relaxation. Move round into the abdominal region. Let your mind rest on the muscles of the abdomen and the front of the abdomen. There are muscles that go up and down, side to side there. Let them relax too. Into the pelvic region. Think of the pelvis as a cradle for all the contents of the abdominal cavity. Think of it holding them securely and comfortably. Think of warmth increasing in your body. Let the relaxation continue now down into the thighs. Big thigh muscles around the thigh bone, relaxing, easing. Down the legs to the knees and through the knee joints. Into the calves, into the muscles at the front of the lower leg as well. Let the calf muscles relax. And just do nothing, rest there, your feet on the floor, easy, comfortable, perhaps beginning to feel a little heavier and warmer. As you move through your ankles into your feet, let the feet become heavy. They can become like blocks of lead, if that makes sense to you, resting there on the ground as a flow of relaxation goes from the heels the instep and top of the foot right to the toes. Let the toes wriggle a bit as you notice them. Toes and fingers often like to move as they relax. Then scan the body from the feet, right up the legs, up the trunk of the body, the neck, the head and face, arms and hands, all a little more comfortable now all increasingly beginning to relax, relax and let go. And to deepen this feeling of relaxation, let's imagine going down in an elevator. You can, I'm sure, picture one somewhere near. Press a button, the door opens, and you step inside. Perhaps you'll find you're on the 10th floor. You can see the number on the dial. Press the button for ground, the elevator door closes, and you begin to travel downwards, ten, nine, eight, very safely, seven, six, five, letting yourself go down, four, three, two, and ground. As you reach the ground floor, door opens, you can step out into a corridor. Find your way to your own healing room. A room perhaps that even has your name on the door and you let yourself in, closing it behind you and look around inside. There's a familiar place where you've been before, your healing room. Furnished as you like it, colour scheme, drapes and carpets. Furniture, all to your liking. Imagine the room, take a moment just to think of the pictures on the wall, the books, plants perhaps, any other ornaments. There might even be a fire in the grate. Make your way to that big comfortable chair that you can look at now and turn around and sink down into it. Think of your neck being supported, your knees being supported, your legs. And you know that in this place, in this chair, in this room, nothing can bother you. Extremely safe and secure. Now from here, we can go in many directions. And today we're going to imagine an ideal day at some point in the future when you're physically and mentally well, we're going to imagine where you're staying and what you're doing during this day. So to begin the day, imagine waking up in the morning. Where are you? 
Think of the nature of the dwelling, a house or apartment. Imagine who you're with. Imagine waking, stretching, getting out of bed, moving around, noticing all the details of your dwelling place, its smell, its size, its space. Remember, everything can be just as you want it. No need to do any internal censoring. Where are you in the countryside, perhaps, or in the city? You might be by the sea. You might be in a warm country or a temperate country. There are no barriers. So take yourself now through your morning routine. Perhaps there's some pre-breakfast activities after being at the bathroom. You may want to stretch, meditate. You might want to go for a walk. You might like to exercise. Or you might be a person who just doesn't do those things before breakfast. Has a cup of coffee instead. Whatever you like. Just notice what your preferences are. You have breakfast. And again, you notice what you eat. Who, if anybody, you may be with. How relaxed the process can be. Then you're ready for the morning occupation. This might be work. Might be recreation, some kind. It might be a sport, a hobby, a craft. Could well be something creative. Could be an activity you undertake by yourself or with other people. Notice the environment you do this in, whether you travel to it, whether it's something you do at home. And let come up into your mind the nature of this activity that would be fulfilling to you. Fulfilling over a prolonged period, not just a one-shot occupation. What are you doing? What are you doing that is fulfilling, satisfying deeply to you? Perhaps you'll be making something. Perhaps you'll be reading or writing. Perhaps music's involved, or painting, or building, or creating, or constructing. Remember, there are no limits to your ability on this ideal day. We're trying to allow to come up from our deeper mind what it is we would really like to do if there were no limitations. You might be helping other people. You might be outside, you might be inside. Just take a moment to let your mind play with that. See what emerges for you. And at the end of the morning, there'll be a lunch break. And the same process of imagination applies here. You'll imagine what you have for lunch, where you go, who you may be with. An enjoyable, relaxed lunch. And it's time for the afternoon activity, whatever that is. Could be the same as the morning. Could be something different. Maybe you have a rest after your meal. Don't worry if nothing comes up immediately, it's very obvious. No time pressure here. You can just pause and allow yourself to imagine, allow to drift up from your unconscious what it is you've always wanted to do. Perhaps you're afraid you couldn't do it. No matter how strange or fantastic it may seem. Or there may be activities that you already know are deeply fulfilling for you. But perhaps you don't find the time to do them. Again, take the time to 
allow this to emerge into your consciousness. And of course, at the end of the afternoon, it will be time for the evening meal. Who will you be with at this time? What sort of food might you be eating? Will there be conversation? Will there be music? Will there be laughter? Or will it be calm and quiet? And once that's over, there'll be some evening hours ahead of you. Likely different activities from the day, although not necessarily. Could be there's a period of quiet or reflection. Possibly meditation or reading. Possibly visiting with friends. As the evening comes to an end, look back over your day. Ask yourself, how was that? How would I adjust that? Did I miss something? And again, you can pause and take time to make any alterations to your ideal day that you want. In fact, you can craft it to your liking as you do this exercise a number of times. Finally, it's time to go to bed. Note the circumstances of that. Note whether you're by yourself or with a partner. Having gone to bed, let yourself drift off gently into sleep. And again, for the purpose of this exercise, we will need now to come back to your present room and chair, knowing, however, that you can do this any number of times and learn from it, feeling confident you can come back, either with this aid or by yourself, to imagining your ideal day. I'm going to count from one to five slowly in the usual way. Get ready to start drifting back and prepared, if you will, to write a few sentences about whatever you've uncovered when you are back in your present room. So beginning to drift back from the very relaxed state as I count from one to two to three, moving the fingers and toes. Take a deep breath at four, top four. Have a stretch if you want, and in your own time, open your eyes. And just quietly note down a few points of whatever you discovered doing this exercise.